What's up everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see today, I'm not alone. I'm with four beautiful ladies. <laughs> <laughs> From uh, my left, we have Dudu and Zang. Uh, we also have Kufe, Zanele and Kohunke. <laughs> <laughs> and today we are doing the assumptions tag. So what I did, I went on Instagram and I asked one question. The response was not really uh, overwhelming, so I put the question back and then we had some assumptions that we made about us. So we are here, we are going to tackle some of those assumptions and we're going to see are those assumptions accurate or are you just are you guys way off? Because a lot of people who watch my videos, they are always asking, so do you guys have a social life? Do you guys party or not? Do you guys drink alcohol all the time? Do you have a life? So let's just get into some of those assumptions. But before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. So ladies, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the first assumption uh, is coming from at Mankobetsi underscore N. She says that you guys are extremely intelligent. Intelligence <laughs> <laughs> is like it, the word is ambiguous, but she's intelligent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I think just like there's a combination though, but definitely like hardworking people. Mm -hmm. I think About that's everything. The, yes. yes. Because obviously, we, intelligence I would assume is something that you're like given, but like it's what you do with what you're given. So definitely hardworking people. I think also it depends. It's a 50 50. You mm -hmm. do get generally intelligent people, mm -hmm. and then you get the hardworking mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Hard, yeah. Okay. But I think overall, it's definitely like hardworking. Yeah. Okay. So we have another <laughs> assumption uh, from at at Amanda underscore memes. It's actually like correlates with the first one but this one dives deeper into it she says that um they think they are the cream of the crop we actually guys that's actually a really common assumption but that's not true okay i'm never gonna do that i was really no, no, I remember sure. at the beginning they told us about the doctors and the doctors what What's the the, not, the, not, the floating the doctors who <laughs> think that they've made it in life? Uh -huh. So, you, like, they those those doctors think they are the cream of the crop. Okay, and I think it's just like, like, they 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 think they already made it and like you know. Okay. But I think also now that because first semester we're included with all the allies, all the allies mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The lecturers sometimes they do tend to medicine this and whatever, ever, ever, and then they do tend to put us there, whereas mm -hmm. the rest they, you know. Mm -hmm. I think, I think it just depends on who you talk to. I mean, like there'll be, like let's say I'm talking to you and you'll think, okay, nah, man, I'm just, I'm just a medical student. Mm -hmm. I'm just a student like you. And then maybe Zanella will say, ah, no, I'm doing medicine. I am. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it literally just depends, depends on the person. But nah, I haven't. Especially also because like besides medicine, there's also other degrees that are considered like mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. So like. It depends on the person because I could be like somebody who's in engineering and also be like, oh, actually, I'm an engineer. Yeah. So it depends on the attitude. Also, there's actuary guys. Yo, there's there's actuary. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I think there's the criminal crop. So, me, if, if, if I were to add on to this, I'm going to tell you guys something that we were told by one of the lecturers uh, earlier during our earlier years in this degree. She said, the STEM students are actually not cream of the crop, but we are cream of the cream. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so they will take out the crop and they are not doing the cream, and then they select from the cream. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, this assumption comes from the fact that um, if you look at their uh, admission requirements, mm -hmm. they literally really have a specific mm -hmm. English medical student in mind. Mm -hmm. So then this will go down to they get more than 4,000 applicants a year mm. for only 140 spaces or let's say 200 spaces. So you can say that they're really going to mm. go and search for that cream there. Mm. So it's not really a bad thing to be the cream, it's just that you just have to be very humble about it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the next assumption, Koto says uh, they are chilled. 
Eu acho que isso é chill, a bebê é chill. Depende do que é isso. Mas o que é isso? Pode ficar em frente. Ah, o que é isso? Ah, o que é isso? Eu não sei o que é isso, mas não me engane. Por que você está falando isso? Não, 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 não. Eu só acho que você está falando sobre o tempo. Eu mean, quando está perto do exame, obviamente, não é chill. Mas, como like, em outro tempo. I feel like we're too late back to the post that we don't actually be mm -hmm. students. <laughs> we are way too relaxed to be medical students. I think we're still. Yeah. Probably. Mm -hmm. But even like if you're looking at the other years, like chill doesn't necessarily mean you're not working hard. Mm -hmm. It's just you're not putting a tear on your phone and acting in the yourself, you know? So, yeah. I think it's also they also stress well okay, so that one will build onto the next assumption from Epsua underscore nine eight. He says that they don't have a social life. Yeah, I have a social life. <laughs> Yeah, but that catches up to me. <laughs> so, what, you said some of, what are some of the social things that should be doing outside the academics? No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I go out. Like, I mean, I go out. I have dinner dates. We mm. have um, party dates. <laughs> um, I binge on series. I do do that, guys. But like me, as my like personally, I I don't have a social life. If you actually, I only have like a really small social circle. So sometimes those people are busy. So then that would mean that I have nothing to do. However, when they're not busy or whatever, then I do have a social life. I will. Do, we will be able to do things and whatever. Yeah, there is a social life. It's just all about balance. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd say that, you know when you say like you don't have social life, so that's more like who you are as a person, you have not say the degree. Yeah, yeah, as a person, yes. yes. But the degree, nah. Dude, remember that one time, there was this group at Hippo, you know, behind all of them, they were out all the time. So don't think medical students don't have a social life, they do. Exactly. Guys, they and do, they're hectic actually. And the thing is also like, people will assume that like, if you party and you go out, just because you're in your room watching series, it's not like it's still both things mm. like, mm. you know, it depends on the type of person that you are, like whether going out, coming, yeah. drinking, or whatever, or just sitting and reading a book. Both ways you're still not studying, so you're being not necessarily social, but you're doing something that's not happening. Yeah. There's another one. Um, I don't know if this is really true, but I would like to abstain from this one. <laughs> 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 the assumption says uh, they can maintain a relationship. No! Go! My family's having You? Okay. I know, me, I'm not in so I can't do that. Yeah, same. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can I just remind you this? Can I just remind you this? I'm not in a relationship. Yeah, amazing. Yes. It's unfair though. I'd like to comment on that. I think it's unfair that, like, I feel like if you can't sustain a relationship, that's you. That's not you. That's you. That's your personal issues. Who who let you? Who built you? That's when did it leave you? That's you. Not me. Why is this killing you so much? Um, what did it? It's you as a person. You can't play with the kind. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe they think that because we're generally like. Busy people, mm -hmm. um, and I feel like people blame a lot of things on this degree. But then, in terms of or degree in general, yeah, well, or your degree you always have a go to school. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 yes. But then, um, speaking from a friend, <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like let's say example, just random, <laughs> both medical students. Um, <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, it depends on the two people if you want to make time yes, for it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's per se the degree or the course or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yes, you get like the more you advance in your degree, um, you have like 
to give her alcohols, I think 40 kg or something mm-hmm. like that, dramatic. But it depends on where as a person, if you want to make time as well. And also, from a break, <laughs> it also um, does depend on your partner. If they understand that you yes. yes. want you to do yes. it. Then, yeah, guys. She she was really to it's a thing of what you put in at the other person could say and time to get into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the next assumption says you get no sleep. Ah, <laughs> that is true. That is not true. That is true. That is true. It depends, it depends. on your time. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> no, but it's not time. The thing is, guys, this course has a lot. Like, guys, we've only been through first semester, but You've like, there's a lot. There's a lot in a, lot in a short space yeah. of time. And personally, as someone who's a very slow studier, I don't have time. Mm-hmm. And time to sleep is like this much. Mm-hmm. But then, as she was saying, it depends on the person. My mm. roommate at 10, she's gone. Then ah. she wakes up next day at 7. Mm. Mm. It does yeah. depend on the person. And, yeah, and also, like, like something I know I learned um, was that I had to adjust the way I studied. Because the way I studied in high school was not efficient for, like you said, the amount of work that we did. And I had to, like, it's like an adapt or die type of thing. So, there's no physical way that it's healthy for you not to get sleep, you know. Mm. So, I think that, yeah. It's, it's adjusting and it's a time. But it does happen obviously just before taste when you sleep oh, too and yeah. you wake up and whatever. But in general For me I would say that uh, it depends on where in the vlog you are. Mm. Because for us we do vlogs. Mm. So the first week of the vlog is fine. You can be chill. Second week, like I said, you can be really good enough to get fully high. Mm. By the first week, you can get two hours. <laughs> two hours. Mm. The day before the test, you're like, oh my god, I'm supposed to sleep. Like, I can't sleep mm. because I have so much to come still. But then, theoretically, obviously, I'm not criticizing somebody who mm. does that, but theoretically, had you started maybe working yeah, from yeah, day yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. this does anyone ever yeah. stop with it? No, I no, some, yeah. some, some, some people are very bad. Yeah, low key. I feel like I would always forget if I'm like, if I do something I don't want. Yeah. Mm. That's the, that's the By track. the time I get so to vote, we can for what you do. Every day, exactly. But I, for me, I prefer to, it's not necessarily studying like every day, but to just sort of like consolidate. Yes, yeah. yes, that I know helps me. <laughs> but then, at the end of the day, it's not just our degree, it's a reality degree. It's but yeah. the assumptions are about this degree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another assumption, uh, oh, at Mango Beach, it says, Nia <laughs> You are you! That's why you're my favorite thing! Guys, he's always on some guys, Nia Goa! So, like, for people who don't understand what you go with, it really just means you go through a lot. Like, you know, like, yeah. I know this is pencil, pencil, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go. Go with me to So, I mean, go with Would you say that? Yeah, yeah after Friday. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> Yo! I forgot. I'm sorry. I don't know. I feel like. It's not that deep. First year. Compared to that. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or but then, I don't like. Maybe like emotionally, mm-hmm. that could be a thing. But academically, I don't know. Because we are far from home, so. Yes, that's the biggest thing. I also think about depends on what kind of adjustment you have to make. So this is like a quick thing, but I spoke to somebody yesterday who was commenting on how, like, for him, because he spoke like minimal English, throughout his whole high school career, I had to adjust. Yeah. It was, so first to me, it was about for him just for that. So I think it depends on what type of adjustment you have to make. Mm-hmm. So how much you push. And look, I think academically, it's not going well. Not to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, like, these are like, guys. Also, it depends <laughs> on the standard. <laughs> You could be used to always getting your 90s, 80s. Mm-hmm. Now that you're getting a 70, 60, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm dying. Can like, you qualify for exams? It's proving to be a struggle. Can you talk about that? Like, wow. Besides that one module, okay. everything else is this okay. 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 This one, I feel like it's going to be very relevant for us, the Matis students, because we are in an interdisciplinary phase, uh, six months. Uh, and all of those things. Mm-hmm. So they said that you guys don't take the allied health care practitioners seriously. I was talking about that with my um, roommate yesterday. She's doing nursing and she's like, um, she doesn't appreciate how some other, okay, some medical students actually do not appreciate the other, the allied health sciences. Mm-hmm. And 
honestly as someone who has a parent who's doing nursing i know what these people go through guys mm-hmm. i know sometimes my mom comes home and she's been on her feet the whole damn day sometimes but then the allied health students are actually very important mm-hmm. in terms of yes we're there but we just there to check up mm-hmm. do the procedure and leave then they interact with the patient the mm-hmm. whole damn time the whole um rehabilitation period whatever. so they're actually very important and personally yes i recognize that and i appreciate that but they obviously will be the others like you said the ones that get the cream of the crop mm-hmm. will be like i don't know what you're doing ot you got it easy so yeah it just again it depends on who you talk to mm-hmm. for me i would say that one thing i've noticed is that once someone asks you so what are you studying Immediately when you're not saying medicine, yes. mm. it's like you can see mm. their reaction. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's like they're gauging how much respect mm. you're giving. Mm. Yes. Without realizing that actually, if someone gets into an accident, uh, the doctor can fix what they fix, but you will need your own mm. yeah. to integrate mm. this person back into, into society. Exactly. You need your physios to help them cope with this new lifestyles. Your nurses also, if they are not in the hospital, the whole place will actually yes. collapse. Yes, exactly. Mm. So yeah, it's one of those. So the last assumption to make sure that this video is not too long <laughs> and it's not dragged out, it yeah. says that um, some of them have difficulties empathizing. Oh yes, wow. So I'm yes. starting with yes. empathy. So like, I mean, yo, I, hmm. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna. What I want to say is gonna step on a lot of people's toes <clears throat> in this room. Not obviously not in this room. <laughs> Um, I think the whole em- empathizing thing relates with the whole racial thing. Um, that's what I'm saying, so it's going to sit on a lot of people's toes. Um, I feel like a lot of people who are not black are finding it, are unable to empathize with those that are. Like people are not willing to put themselves in our shoes because it's not their shoes. So they don't find, they don't feel the need to actually understand what we're going through. Like it's just a thing of, as English. Like it's not my problem. Yes, so why do I have to, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah, a racial key. empathy is, is not a thing on this campus. But sometimes you even, oh, on this campus. Because in, in, in general, but like I just feel it more on this campus. But sometimes you even find that black doctors or doctors to be then also do that. Because yes. they'll be like, I'm yes. out of that situation. I'm so I'm not gonna, so, yes. You know, but like I think it's, in that sense then it's society's fault for putting medical students on that pedestal yeah yes. it fuels also. their ego mm. yes. also the lecturers it fuels their mm. ego your friends they say ah no my friend's studying medicine it fuels your ego mm. and as a person you need to be able to suppress that to yes. like be humble and it's actually like you know it. yeah it's a, it's a personal thing of you just need to be humble when you mentioned like those people are you speaking about like that attitude that they have in comments on their ability to potentially empathize with patient pain so is that the question uh it was just saying in general, just general. Just our empathy, empathy. Yeah. Look, i think also it depends on you know people are here for different reasons mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yes. it could be mm-hmm. just really really smart and your people's skills are really bad and yeah. Then, yes. yeah so yes. obviously yes. your empathy works with that mm-hmm. 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 but then a person in Okore they here because i want to help people i want to do this and this then it'll be more and that's why I think this whole <clears throat> interprofessional phase is actually pretty important, guys. Because like I really appreciated that um, in HSC we did this thing called the Amazing Race. I really appreciated that. I love that. And if I feel like if we did more of that, maybe then people's skills mm-hmm. would. would mm-hmm. Do you yeah, think it had an influence on people? Love people the thing ah, is, they did it once. You do it mm-hmm. once. It's a thing of ah, oh my gosh, we went here. We saw mm-hmm. those people are in shacks. Um. South African government needs to do better and whatever. But then I think the more you do it, then you'll be on some, okay, no, wait, what can I do about it? Mm-hmm. You know? So yeah, I feel like if it became like a regular thing. You know, with that yeah. and what Sanelia said, um, there were, when we went to our side, there was these other girls that are doing, I think it's OT, working at the hospital. Mm-hmm. They happen to be Caucasian. The <laughs> thing is, they were just in that thing, Ahore these people they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing like they weren't mm. towards mm. the people mm. because i feel like 
it's harder to empathize with somebody if you're not in that situation. Mm -hmm. Whereas mm -hmm. as you were there, like we have family members that live in such situations. Yeah, so, so you know yeah, you can reach out more. But then if it doesn't really affect you, then it's just like mm -hmm. But I also think that like we were saying, it's quite important that we do various things to actually understand the context of the house we live in because mm -hmm. We're not going to be working in new baby clinics and mm -hmm. for hospitals that raise in that many way. It's like, oh, no, I have to say yeah. that. You're actually going to be working not just <coughs> with the hospital and the health system, but then as well as limited resources, pressure, like a lot of things due to the circumstances that we're going to have about. So it's important that. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to start a series. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start a series. Based on South African yes. hospitals. Yes. Okay. Like Serial so like 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 then you'll be on some no, you know what? Like, this is what I'll be dealing with the yes. car, it's a property. Yes. Don't look at Grace Anatomy and think you're gonna be working there. Oh. You're gonna be working in Eastern Cape, so we're mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> to prevent this video from being trivial, uh, I would just like to say thank you guys so much for coming and this is really nice. So much to start a video. <laughs> Be on the lookout for the series, guys. It's not an issue, but I know. I'll start the series. Yeah. So <laughs> definitely, definitely subscribe to Kukunta's channel. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll definitely make sure that I link down all their social media uh, handles and accounts so that you can follow. Yes, guys. Kukunta is always on the channel. I'm not on my channel. I'm not on my channel anymore. Follow us, guys. Yes, follow us with our social media stands in Kukunta's school. If you guys want to see them again in future, please do leave your comments and say, yeah, they are requesting <laughs> <laughs> And they will definitely come back. So thank you guys so much for coming. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment. Like, share, subscribe. So until next time, thank you so much for